Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm a photographer from Northern Ontario, Canada. And this is my third time in Iceland within the span of a year. My work generally revolves around the concept of home, whether that is a physical space or more of a feeling to belong somewhere. Um, I tend to feel like I belong more in isolated spaces where it seems like time can pass freely. And I think that's what I find so alluring about Iceland is its inherent ability to make someone feel so small and insignificant while at the same time inspiring so much awe. My interest for ruins, it started back in high school because I grew up in a very small town where we didn't necessarily have that many interesting hobbies to partake in, so I was one of the weird kids who used to hang out in the art class all the time. And that interest for ruins just followed me when I went to university. I went to the University of Ottawa, it's a fairly small fine arts program. And I was accepted based on a painting, drawing, sculpture, and video portfolio. Like barely any photography, even though I had spent some time in the darkroom in high school. Um, I wasn't fully hooked on it yet, but my first year of university, I spent countless hours in the darkroom and I just fell in love with it. And my interest for ruins and abandoned spaces kind of just found itself to be the pillar of pretty much all of the work that I did for the following four years of university. And it's still very much a central concept. Um, it's a very kind of cathartic process. I tend to just drive around until I find something that looks like it hasn't really been under the influence of humans for quite some time. And in a way, these houses kind of become my studio, they become my friends. I feel like I can learn a lot and kind of form my own little narratives based on little bits and pieces that have been left behind. I usually work with analog processes, but um, for this particular residency, I decided to limit myself to two cameras, one of which being a DSLR. So it's nice to have that convenience, but at the same time, I always feel like I need some sort of physical medium to work with. Um, to explore more of the materiality, which is why I've mostly been working with instant film and trying to see what I can do with that physical medium to kind of mimic the effects of time on man-made structures. So I've mostly been setting them on fire because that's usually the main reason why my typical settings for my photos are usually abandoned. They can't be salvaged because there was some sort of fire at some point throughout their lifetime.